and different organisms have different ways to reproduce, some things stay the same in some organisms. Plants, for example, can be male or female or they can be both. So when we focus on sexual reproduction, how different are we really from plants? Let us explore what happens in sexual reproduction. Sexual reproduction is characterized by a chain of events starting from the formation of gametes, fusion of these gametes to form a zygote, and finally culminating into the development of the zygote to form an offspring. As such, the events in the entire cycle of sexual reproduction can be categorized as pre-fertilization events, fertilization and post-fertilization events. The pre-fertilization events are initiated by gametogenesis, which is the formation of male and female gametes. Certain algae produce gametes which are structurally similar. Such gametes are called isogametes or homogametes. In haploid organisms like algae, gametes are produced by mitosis. In diploid organisms like human beings, gametes are produced by meiotic division of meiocytes. Human beings produce dissimilar gametes called heterogametes. Here, the female gamete is called ovum or egg, while the male gamete is called a sperm. Human beings are referred as unisexual organisms as male and female reproductive organs are born by different individuals. Animals like earthworms are called hermaphrodite or bisexual as they exhibit presence of both male and female reproductive organs in a single individual. In plants like pine, the reproductive organs, both male and female, are separate but are found on the same plant. They are thus referred to as monoecious plants. While Marcantia is a dioecious plant, as the male and the female thallus or gametophytes in it are present separately. The male gametophyte produces the sperms or anthrozoids, which travel to the female gametophyte through the medium of water. Similarly, in other plants, pollen grains formed in the anther are transferred to the stigma of the carpel in a process called pollination. The process of transfer of gametes is followed by their fusion. The male gamete fuses with the ovule, which is the female gamete. This fusion of male and female gametes is known as fertilization or syngamy. Since the process of fertilization occurs inside the plant body, it is referred to as internal fertilization. Same is the case with animals like human beings, where fertilization occurs within the body of the organism. And this is called internal fertilization. In fish and other amphibians, fertilization occurs outside the body of the organism. This type of fertilization is called external fertilization. Honeybees exhibit a special mode of reproduction wherein the female gamete develops into a new offspring without the process of fertilization. This phenomena is known as parthenogenesis. Fertilization is followed by the development of an individual organism from the zygote. Based on whether the development of the individual occurs outside the body of the female parent or inside it, the animals are categorized into oviparous and viviparous animals. In oviparous animals like amphibians, the fertilized eggs hatch into tadpoles or young ones. These tadpoles undergo changes and eventually develop into mature individuals. In viviparous animals like human beings, 
the development of young ones occurs inside the body of the female organism through embryogenesis. After attaining a certain stage of growth, the young ones are delivered out of the female's body. In flowering plants, the calyx, the corolla and the stamens wither away after fertilization and the ovary forms the fruit. The fruit thus formed encloses the precursor of the offspring, that is, the seed. The main events in the process of sexual reproduction are pre-fertilization, fertilization and post-fertilization events. Pre-fertilization involves gametogenesis, that is, the formation of gametes in the sex organs and the gamete transfer where the male gametes are transferred through different modes to reach the female gametes. In fertilization, the male and the female gamete fuses to form a zygote. Post-fertilization is characterized by the development of the zygote into the full-fledged offspring.